Would you look at that? 1970 Nova. Just got done looking under the hood, and we got a believe to be 350. We got power steering, power brakes. Got some aftermarket valve covers and air cleaner, shooting flames. And what we're going to be doing is taking it down the road for a test drive. Go to maplemotors.com to see detailed pictures, financing, and shipping. You got the uh, disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. It should be a good little ride here. Be sure to check out that website. You need financing, you need shipping. Look at all of our rides. They come out every Monday at 11. For now, sit back. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, before we take off, a shout out coming in from Ohio, Todd Webb. Thanks, man. Glad all you right. showed up. All right. Okay, again, before we take off, place those bets. Do you think the horn works? We're gonna be trying it out. Let's look around this interior a little bit. You got the B&M shifter. You got nice carpet. The seats are in good shape. We'll look at the driver's seat in, the, in detail, most of this interior and exterior in detail. Towards the end of the video, the dash is in pretty good shape. Headliner in this one. You got the light, but it's not on. Package tray, a little weak in the package tray. Back seat, not too bad. All right, we'll go ahead and start her up here. Starts up pretty good. Let's try some stuff out. Wipers, they do work. Blower motor, do we have heat? I know it was hooked up earlier. But is it blowing? I don't think so. Radio is in the office. Engine temperature's up a little bit now. Oil pressure's uh, close to 50. Tack. Working. Horn. Turn signals aren't popping up on the dash either on the left, but the right side is. The bulb is out behind there, but the horn. Wait a second. It's pretty loud. It works. All right, let's hit the road. Got you on super view today. Before we take off, we're gonna check reverse. Seems to be working. Drive. Just kicking the tires a little bit. Of course, anything I see in these videos, I will let you know. Check the brakes before we leave, make sure we can stop. Definitely gonna stop and get fuel. It's showing three quarters of a tank. Very well could work, but let's find out. The ride down the road. Let's see. Fairly straight here. I mean, we got a very, very small pull to the right. It's nothing major there. Nice tight steering brakes. Stopping good. Feels like a nice solid shift in this one. Kick down is hooked up. The speedometer is working. Brakes again. Solid. So far, so good. I like this ride here. Let's see. Okay, we got it down in first. Let's go ahead and open our pant leg window. We call it pant leg window. It blows wind straight down your pant leg. <laughs> Man, this thing's got a great sound to it. out quick a little solid I like it all right let's get in here suspension pretty good as well over this over the curve there let's get in here and get about twenty dollars worth of fuel if it'll fit because the gas gauge in this one is floating around three quarters of a tank but I want to make sure it works 
by adding us some fuel. The shifter's working just like it should. Very good, very cool, I like it. I'll be right back guys. Okay, so yeah, I think that gas gauge does work. We got 1444, yes we want receipt, in there, we didn't get $20. And you see it spilt on the ground there. We have a full tank, so the gauge works. Pretty cool. Oh, thanks. Don't spit me out a receipt. Let's take a... Don't have to give it gas to start it. Gas gauge is all the way to full now. That's what I'm talking about. Let's head on back. Engine temperature sitting at a good 200. Oil pressure is right around 30. And let's roll out of here. Of course, once we get back to the lot, we're gonna be doing picking out the flaws. That's where I go around and look for chips, scratches, rust, dents, whatever I could find. Uh, kind of concludes the whole video, just pointing out everything else that is cosmetically wrong. I noticed the bumper on the uh, driver's side in the front here is kind of pushed in a little bit too. So check that out when I'm walking around. bit of that right pull going down the road see it kind of fading there a little 
little bit of a shake to the steering wheel. A vibration in it. So we're getting ready to pull back into the lot. Definitely stick around to the end for picking out the flaws. Look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping. And we'll get you hooked up on a classic car. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. All right, I'm at that point of the video where I pick out the flaws. We're gonna be going all the way around this car looking at everything, just like this broom head stick thing that they got holding up the hood. All that different stuff we're gonna be pointing out for you, chip scratches, rust. If it's there, you'll know about it. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com and let's get started. I'm gonna start on the back since the trunk's already open and we never start from the back. Here we go. The bumper has some haziness. It's not new, still in good shape. Tail lights, they look pretty good. You can definitely tell they're older. See some flaws in them. Jams, they look nice, nice and clean. Weather strip has been replaced. Trunk, been spattered, painted, but it looks solid. Package tray, decent shape. Coming down with the trunk lid. Shut's good. Solid on the edges of the trunk here, but in the middle, Lots of scratches. You got scratches here and all over here. See all them cracks in the trunk lid, kind of spread all over. I'm just wandering here with it because it's pretty much scattered over the whole thing. All right, we're gonna go down the driver's side now, lower portion first, back to midsection. Got some chips back here from these nice tires set of craggers up and over bottom of this door here has got a big old bubble rust trying to come through there light scuffs got some rust in the middle of it too a couple bubbles here chips little chip there bubbles up in the front corner Lots of little chips here behind that front tire. Up and over the fender. Back that midsection. You can see a lot of touch up marks right here on this fender. Cracks in the paint. Crack right here in the door. Little touch up mark here. Right in the middle there, you got some little dimples in the paint. Coming back up, you can see some cracks here. 
touch up marks right here as well little bubble here up on the back panel here you can see some imperfections like dimples all in the paint looks like the side of a golf ball through this section your back window light scuffs light scratches the trim around the back it's got some little scuffs on it but they're not bad little spots in the glass here you got uh the seal is not bad here you got rust popping up on your vent window you also got pitting on your mirror coming up your pillar you got some little cracks little bubbles popping up the roof on this one though pretty good shape do got a lot of bubbles right here back down that fender on top looks pretty good a little chip there front windshield on this one not bad looks good and the chrome looks good around it as well coming up on this front end the front bumper on this one has been replaced it's in great shape grill not too bad and like i said on this they uh looks like they crammed a broomstick head inside it you know it actually works you're supposed to have a little screw but i guess they didn't have it at the moment so that is in there all right coming around this side tires like i said good shape seem like they are all the way around up and over the fender here coming on down a few chips bubbles at the bottom of the door so you got some rust you got some chips down here as well bubbles in the corner of the door here also here and some chips in the paint tires decent shape and over that fender a little couple chips there in the corner but throughout the back looks pretty good other than this big old chip here back that mid section big old crack here edge of that door there touch up mark dimple here big old scratch in the middle of the door Scuff on the edge here. Chip on top. Crack right here in the paint. Dimple in your trim. Front windshield looks pretty good. Up your pillar. Not too bad mirror slight pitting i don't see nothing major on it vent window seal not bad little crack there chrome looks good windows in decent shape door handles been replaced pillars around the windows look good nice gnarly scratch through here up top here you got some more touch-up marks I think that can come off. It's like some dirt or something on there. Maybe some overspray. I'd say that probably happened when the paint, the trunk was painted. Back window on this one is in good shape along with the trim up and over the roof. A little scratch there. A little chip here.
Made it all the way around this ride. Let's go ahead and check out the inside, get this motor started up and listen to it. This is before the test drive, by the way. I just put this at the end of the video uh, to try to keep it in the same sequence. But I've gotten to where it, the cars are a lot cleaner before I take off, so get dust all over when you get back. That chip there. I don't know if I showed that. Coming up on the door panel here, you do got chips on the handle. Door panel itself looks good. I mean, you got a little spot over here in the corner. The seal has been replaced too. It's in decent shape. A little spot in the corner here, up under. In your jams. Cracks down here. Edge of that seat. So on the side here, you got a lot of chips. Or it's been painted. They used to be gray. They wanted it black, I guess. The seat itself looks good, but you do have tears in the bottom. And that can be repaired if done quickly because uh, mm -hmm. you let it go too far, you'll have to do the whole seat. Carpet, that's pretty good to me. I like it. How's the front here? Yes. Good shape. That has been replaced. Back seat. Not too bad. A couple little spots right here. As you can see popping up in the seats. Package tray. Man, we need some new carpet. Starting to rip and tear back there. Up along your headliner here. Good shape. Back corners look good. And yes, she is very cold. This is before we took off. You can see that temperature gauge. Just barely made it up when we shut it off. And that's what she does cold. Just idles. This thing sounds pretty good. You got a B&M shifter here. You've got a tack. Coming across. The dash looks pretty good. Your visors and stuff are not in bad shape. These edges here are a little ripped. You got seat belts up on the top here on both sides. I'm gonna go out, check out this motor. Like I said, she's still cold. I haven't even done the test drive yet. Got a good sound. Pretty quiet up under here. You can see the motor is just cold. I haven't even taken off yet. See the upgraded pulleys. Looks like our heater hoses are hooked up. We'll be trying that out. coming up on the edges of your hood you always want to check these make sure you don't get rust popping up all right you got a little chip here on some of the blue you also got some spots popping up up here and you can see, I'm just barely pushing this down. And it's locked. But you can see there's little spots here, there. You got some coming across the hood here. You also got some up here in the front. You hit a lot of bugs, I guess. You hit a lot of rocks. Chip right there on the side. Couple little spots popping up here. Oh, 
All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep these videos coming your way. Check out maplemotors.com for finance and shipping. Detailed pictures and, of course, all of our cars. We list them every Monday. We get about 10 cars a week that I am able to show you, but we sell about 60 cars a month. So at least 20 cars every month sell before I could put a video out. That is something that does happen. And if you come in person, you can see everything first before that happens. We get everything from projects to show cars. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Again, financing, shipping, detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Thank you.